Okay, you guys, we spent a total of $25 and I got a new table. So we went to the Habitat for Humanity Restore on Alark yesterday, as I said in last week's vlog, and they had a bunch of these 36 by 72 inch tables. They were $10 each. Now it's not in the best condition and the edging has, you know, some issues, but it's for the art room. It doesn't matter. It is white, which I love. And it's, the old one was only about 30 by 60. This one's 36 by 72. And it's a little taller. We did have to replace the feet, which I have East 6000ing 6, to the bottom of the legs. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get replacement proper feet for it in case that doesn't work. Um, but the ones that I found, you have to spend a minimum of $15 and the feet only cost $4, so yeah. I'm gonna do a lot of looking on Amazon, see if they have them there. But anyway, I'm not gonna put too much back on it until everything dries on the bottom part, but I love it. All right, I'm gonna eat lunch, I'll be hey back. Everybody. It is Monday, January 30th, I think. Um, wake up. Yes, 1.05 p.m. We have had the furnace and air conditioning folks out doing maintenance on the furnace, which is in that closet there. I'm waiting for her to write up and come back so I can sign off. I don't think anything's wrong with it. It better not be because it's a new unit they put in. Anyway, I'm getting ready to do a couple of my first projects on my new art table. <clears throat> and I have a new series idea given to me by some of you all that will be working on either later today or tomorrow something may probably more likely today than tomorrow anyway okay please. guys before we go back to the art room and start filming a new series that y'all have been requesting um we are going to pri prioritize our health and well-being we are going to get back into walking Something I've been wanting to do anyway since we truly started feeling better. I miss taking pictures for you all. <laughs> Today's views, hashtag orchid life. Like I've barely done any for two months because we got sick with the coughing, hacking, flu cold thing. No, it wasn't the big C we got tested four times. <sighs> the last one was a PCR test, all negative. Anyway, <sighs> it may be a little brisk, but it's nice to be out in the fresh air. So let's get to it. Find something to sketch, because I haven't sketched anything in my watercolor sketch turtle since before Christmas. Yeah, let's see. No noise, but the squeak of my orthotics. I forgot how calming that was. Even though it's a little cold, I love it. All right, let's keep going. And let's get back to making this a daily routine, shall we? Okay, I'll be back. when the pond ice is over because it's so cold, there's probably not gonna be any ducks. Oh well, still a pretty view. It is Tuesday, January 31st. It's almost 3.30 p.m. I haven't vlogged before now because it's been a busy morning. Um, I, we had the house cleaner out and I had a bunch of errands to do and I got to be in my bonnet about reorganizing um, my downstairs art stuff again. I know. So when we were in Hawaii, I bought this tote bag, which is a lunch bag and I'll link it below. And when we, um, when I got that, I also got this they call it a clutch, I think, but I, pencil bag. And these two bags have my watercolor sketching stuff in it. That It's in a tote bag, so I can have it downstairs. I can carry it upstairs. If we go on a road trip, I take it with me. It's easy, I just grab it and go. I wanted the same kind of thing for my downstairs daily drawing stuff. I had it in a um, old suit, vintage suitcase, um, but half the stuff that was in the suitcase, I wasn't even using, and it just kind of became a dumping ground. I am definitely the person that has to limit my storage space for things or I just collect everything. 
So I made another bag, just like the Hawaii one, out of my own fabric from Spoonflower with my feather designs on it, which matches my daily drawing pencil bag, which actually is full of ephemera, it's not full of pencils. So let's set it up, shall we? I like it. You wouldn't know I was a professional YouTuber or anything because I was struggling to get the phone out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, it's been a pretty good day. As I said earlier, I got a lot, of done, a lot done. I got that little tote bag made um, and reorganized some things that probably didn't really need reorganizing, but it's what I do. Bob's not surprised. No, yeah. I also got some little feet covers, leg covers for the new art room table. Yeah, rubber feet. Little rubber feet <clears throat> with cork bottoms. And I think that's gonna work great and much easier to find than trying to find the vintage self-leveling feet with the little caps. Yeah, that would cost me about just under $100 with shipping because nobody has them in stock and you can't just order four. More Way more than the table is worth. The table. Yeah, we tried a couple things, so one that didn't work. So I did spend $10 I probably didn't need to spend, but the good news is that I found something that is going to work. And even that combined was only 20 bucks for both. So if you're interested in something like that, and if you need it for some piece of furniture or something in your art room, let me know. I'll share the link and what I did. Anyway, we're gonna go get some steps in. We're determined to get back into our walking routine and uh, it's cold, I gotta put my gloves back on. I'll be back. It's 9.25 a.m. on February 1st. Um, <laughs> I was in the middle of brushing my teeth when the little ones from next door came by <laughs> to say hello, um, which is cute. But yeah, I don't have very long before I need to leave to go run a couple errands before I pick my dad up at the airport. So I have stuff to do anyway. Hey I'll guys, be back. All right, so it is 3.20 p.m. Dad should be home any minute and I should get a text from him that he got home safely. I've been at the art table um, painting another, there we go, abstract watercolor. Um, changing out the paint boxes for said abstract watercolor one more time. Um, I've got some of these pill boxes and they actually fold up. They have covers, which I've taken off. The covers come off easily. I have one for like sort of blues and purples and neutrals and one for yellows, greens, and reds. Um, and then this will go in the kit to like mix on. I think that's gonna work better. This is a learning process, abstract water coloring for me and what is gonna work in my kit um, for me. And so we'll see. Uh, in the, and I'm also trying to use up some paint that I've had sitting around for like eons. So there's that. I like that these pill boxes have nice big wells in them so that I can get all of my tools in there easily, no matter if they're unusual ones or not. So yeah. Um, I also got some, um, I got a box at the post office when I was checking the PO box. By the way, yes, I have a P.O. box. If you want to send me happy mail, the address is down below in the description. I got a box while I was there because I didn't have any. And um, I needed some party mail boxes for stuff anyway. So I picked up an extra one and then covered it with this pretty green contact paper for all of my daily drawing journals for this year. I needed a box. I finished. It's February 1st, so I needed a box for this year. Um... And I think we're gonna start filming a new new video series that I'm getting asked about. So um, 
I don't know if I'm going to do it today or not, maybe tomorrow. So, because today has been a bit hectic. Anyway, I need to go wash my hands again. <laughs> I'll be back. guys while I didn't get any filming done today I, it was a pretty productive day as you saw I just even made overnight oats I didn't get any bread made and I didn't get any filming done as I said Poor Shane. I know shame, shame, shame. so I might put the bread loaf together and have the bread machine start doing its thing when we get back from walking I've got my coat on um it won't be ready until late tonight it takes about four hours but we are out of other bread except for a couple of slices of rye. So that way if Mr. Bob wants like regular bread for a sandwich, like he can cut up the homemade bread, maybe. Anyway, and then tomorrow and or Friday, filming, filming, filming. I'll be back. It's 2.30 p.m. February 2nd, Thursday. Anyway, I haven't gotten with you before now because I've been kind of busy. We're filming a new series here for my YouTube channel. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna call it right now. Um, fixing your art room workflow. Uh, I don't know. It's about decluttering your art room, but it's about more than that. So if you have suggestions, leave them down below because I'd be interested. Anyway, I filmed the fir first episode today. It got a little rambly, so it's going to probably take a lot of editing. I also filmed a second video um, inspired by one I saw recently. She tagged me in the video from an old video of mine, and so it inspired me to try something new. So anyway, I filmed that today. I also talked to my friend Leslie McGrath today. And she's sick again, you all. Send her some good vibes. Um, Bob has a Masonic meeting tonight, so I'm gonna go out and get some steps in while I can, because I've gotten like three days in a row where we've done over 8,000 steps, and let's keep that going. Um, and yeah, when I get back, I've gotta start the bread machine because I still haven't done that yet. Oops. All right, I'll be back. I think the ducks may be in the pond. Hold on, let's go see. Oh my god, there's a lot of ducks. ducks here. The whole entire flock is here. Wow. Okay guys, so I am editing. It's, I don't even know what time is it? Um, 514. Bob is off to his Masonic Lodge meeting. I think I'm going to call the new series Fixing the Flow. Um, and it's going to be five or six parts. Um, they're all pretty chatty um, because that's part of, for me, how I figure out or have figured out what to do with my space is just talking it out to myself and to those I trust. So anyway, I am editing the first video on that right now and um, I'm gonna edit the feather video I filmed too and then I'll worry about loading them and scheduling them tomorrow. And we'll try to get this editing part done before I go downstairs and have dinner. <sighs> anyway. My hair is just a hot mess today. I didn't say anything about it in the fixing the flow video, but you'll notice my hair is just a hot mess. 
it's just decided to resemble, I think my nearest family relative must be Einstein. Because, you know, anyway, some days are better than others, I guess. All right, I'm going to turn on some YouTube while the computer is doing its thing. And I'll be back. Morning. It is 1030 Friday, Friday, February 3rd. Um, anyway. Get down the stairs in one piece. My knee's bugging me a little bit because I'm back to walking. But also, it's cold, so, you know. Um, haven't done much this morning. Bob started, we started off the morning with Bob having a doctor appointment for his clogged ears because it's a side effect he's got from being sick. And uh, he's got some medication and stuff we need to go out at lunch and go pick up. So we're going to, he's going to take a little bit longer lunch break and we're going to go do that. I need to upload the videos I edited, edited yesterday to YouTube and get those scheduled. And... That's all my brain can think of at the moment. <laughs> my brain is just not capable of going anywhere else, but I'm going to avoid having any more coffee. I'm going to make some bone broth instead, which I think is a good plan. Guys, I'll be back. Yes, we're back in the car again. Um, went and picked up Bob's prescription. Got a couple of food things that we're going grocery shopping tomorrow, but he, we literally had no bread for his sandwiches in the house and he didn't want to cut into the homemade bread for whatever reason, I don't know. So we got that while we were out. I'm gonna go pick up some pizza for dinner from one of our local favorites. And I um, might stop at Each Mart on my way over there. It's on the way, which is an um, Asian grocery store. They have a little Daiso section. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love a good bargain and I love a good dollar store, especially Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. And I am looking for a couple particular things. I want to see if they have more of my favorite magnets I use when I make my um, urban sketching boxes because I have an idea for another box and I want to get some more magnets. And I'm kind of looking for a Year of the Rabbit cell phone charm. I know that's a weird thing, but a few years ago I started collecting them from Daiso and hanging them on my art bags for whatever reason. So there you go, fun fact about me you didn't know. So anyway, we're gonna stop there and then we're gonna go get the pizza and head home. I haven't done any art today, but I need to do something, even if it's only my daily drawings. So we're gonna go get it done and I'll be back. Hey everybody, it's just after 11 a.m. Saturday, February 4th. Yes, I already looked because I wanted to say March, even though I knew it wasn't March. It's 20 after or 18 after 11 yeah. and it's February. Um, We just got out of Costco and very crowded but successful shopping trip now we're gonna head to the next store so last time last week when we did errands we ended up having to go to five shops to find everything on the list because i'm a little bit of high maintenance and i was looking for particular items and you know it's the covid decade so you can't find stuff anyway anybody want to take a bet on how many stores we have to go to today on the list we have one two three Costco was one of them. Let's see when we're done. We'll see what happens. Yeah. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it's 4.30, something like that. We, um, yeah, on sap, still Saturday. We only had to go to three shops today instead of five like last week. Um, we still didn't find jelly beans. And yes, we buy jelly beans all the time. I wish I could tell you they're for the kids. No, ju You're no judgments. To be for the kids. Yeah. Some gray hair old lady that lives in our house also likes jelly beans. Mm. Might be a problem. Anyway, I don't know. We seem to have a jelly bean shortage here around us. So, anyway, I did a painting and did a couple other things. Had to fix a dog toy again. Anyway, we got all our chores done. We're going to go try to get a few steps in. Uh, before we either freeze or it starts raining again. I did just feel a couple of drips, so we'll see. And I'll be hey back. Hey guys, it is Sunday, February 5th, 5th I think. think. So. Yeah. Um, we are in Bob's car. One of, one of, <laughs> one of Bob's cars. That's a, car. Yeah, car. 
that it's a long story but yeah we will go there anyway um taking it for a little spin because it's been parked for a while um and headed to h mart but that's for next week's vlog we forgot to close last week's vlog oops um <laughs> so i hope you guys had a good week it's been interesting i've been doing a lot of painting if you guys want to see a full abstract watercolor tutorial sort of video let me know i've been doing shorter ones or sped up ones with no audio but if you want something where i'm talking through it let me know um we can cer certainly accomplish that anyway if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Don't forget to check the video description for relevant links. We've got some exciting content coming out soon and stuff I've got to film. Um, but anyway, so stay tuned. And if you'd like to support the free content, uh, get ready access to me and help with different things and downloads and things from me that you can't get otherwise, join my Patreon because that's what it's there for. And uh, yeah, I sure love the support. Above all, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.